Hello, hello people, this is Dilliard speaking from the Open Wardrobe Gang and welcome to yet another episode of our blind playthrough of Blasphemous. In the very last episode, we sadly messed up, or we learned that I messed up the questline of Gemino, that poor fellow trapped uh, in that one particular tree. Uh, we encountered a completely random and new boss fight, uh, I believe the name was... Uh, I have it written down... Yeah, Ezdraz of the Anointed Legion, that fight was so freaking cool, so freaking awesome, I loved it. It was a banger, it was fire, um, it was so intense that I was focusing so much, I provided like little to no commentary during that whole section <laughs> of the episode, so that's... So that's interesting. And after that, we are uh, we've been exploring this particular lo location, the patio of the silent steps. Um, so without further ado, let's let's jump right back into it. We um... we died in rather unfortunate way at the end of the last episode, and that was the stopping point. So. This time I have to just play better and it will be fine, right? <laughs> yeah, we've been here. There is a floor that is falling apart. Yeah, constantly falling apart floor. That's the theme of this particular location. I remember when we, um, you know, met up uh, these particular enemies for the very first... Oh, shit. For the very first time in the Where Olive Trees Wither and they provided us with so much trouble. Um, but now it's a completely different story. I mean, I got hit twice by that mob just now, but... Uh, so, it's not really proving my point, but we've got better. Is what I was trying to get across. Okay, the last time we died to the left, so maybe... Maybe still go to the left. <laughs> maybe still go to the left. I'm still not done with this challenge over here. We will lure whatever comes our way down. Yeah, come here. Yep, that's how you do it. Any hidden rooms here? Nope. All right. Yeah, making progress. Okay, this is unfortunate. All right, come here. Okay. All right, I see what I need to do. I need to jump to the left. This is not easy, and if I fall... Oh, shit. Th there is like a... Yeah, that was the, the sweet spot. Wait. Why was I doing this? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why was I doing this? This is not the way forward, I think. I believe I see the roots uh, there. And I have no way of interacting with it. Great. So we died at the end of the last episode. Um... In a place that is inaccessible one way or another. That's amazing. What a twist. I, I guess the roots, once again, are in our way. How long will it take us to find, like, the roots item? I wonder. Jesus. I jeez. Yeah, uh, today, I, I guess I'm not warmed up just yet, you know, I've just powered up the game, but uh, yesterday, oh, not yesterday, the, the last time I was recording Blasphemous, which wasn't yesterday, we, we've been cruising through this area considering the, the enemies, these jumping enemies, so I felt rather confident, but now we are getting hit, like, all the time. Okay, more roots over here. Um, let's leave a marker so that I know that there is also an item here. There you go. Where does this lead us? 
Um, where does this lead? And actually, well, god damn it! Fuck you! These enemies are suddenly tough. God damn it! They are tracking my movements. They are. They are tracking my movements and trading with me just great. This is what I get for shit-talking them, right? Okay, what I was about to say, will we be met up with another amazing boss, is the question. The, 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 the fight in the previous episode really came in as a surprise. So, you know. A new boss can be around every corner, I guess. Alright, we cheesed those guys. That will... yeah, fall apart. Can't go there, I think. Or can I make that jump? I can totally make this jump. This is reasonable. What's to the left? Oh, there's an item. And there's another item, okay. Mm, olive seeds. Olive seeds. A quest item, let's go. A handful of seeds carefully preserved. The stones of the olives were mashed into an oily... ungent, Essential to the bag of any healer. Okay. Is this another... Um, is this another item for the kissers in Albero? I presume so. Confession of Tears, so part four. Mm. On one of the nights during which the young man agonized, <laughs> wait a minute, how, you, how do you pronounce it? Agonized, yeah. When uh, which the young man agonized uh, amidst terrible uh, febrile. Um, tremors with the wounds that plagued his body spreading more and more I approached him so distraught that I held him in my arms and shedding tears I kissed him on the forehead god damn it what a mouthful of a sentence how many freaking adverbial phrases will you throw you know my way on one of the nights when he agonized, you know, amidst terrible tremors and with wounds that plagued his body, I approached him. Yeah, we finally get to the point that also I was shedding tears. <laughs> While I felt the ardor of his forehead on my lips, uh, I noticed the young man was opening his eyes and looking at me, his agony apparently gone all of a sudden. A miracle. Thanks to the the olive seeds, I presume. All right. There's another item right there, but I am not sure whether that's the one we've already seen up there. No, I don't believe so. We are in this location now. Yep. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I want to take a look at it again because I'm curious. I did not see any roots. How do you get... No, there are roots, all right. So we, there has to be like, you, you have to have like an ability to... It's like, there is there an opening there? No, there is no opening, right? There's no other way of approaching this um, platform. Um, there is no way of dropping down because this is like a hard ceiling over here. So I assume that when we get the item that allows us to interact with the roots, they will be just like you know, available from the ground floor kind of a thing. All right, moving forward. What lies ahead? There's like an insane cathedral back in the distance. Actually, it's been a while since I've used my prayer, or the, the, also my prayer and the ranged attack. I mean, I'm just like a basic gamer, you know, I usually I get uh, used to like a certain um, 
you know, basic mechanics, and then it's difficult for me to branch out into, like, new and exciting things, such as the ranged attack. Similar, um, you know, considering the bosses, I've heard from you guys down in the comments that the bosses uh, can be very heavily uh, wounded with the use of prayers, but, like, I, when I get into the boss fight, the only two things in my mind are A. Dodge B. Use the basic attack. That's how I'm wired. <laughs> Oh, look who it is. Can this episode get any better? It's impossible now. Penitent one, heed my confession. Cowardice taketh root inside of me in the face of this new test by the grievous miracle. <laughs> uh, fret not, my friend. Who are we pilgrims, if not sinners who have chosen wandering as the gentlest of penances? Absolutely, oh, friend. Let my bent back cover my tears. No, don't cry, I can't take it, man. You are you're the dearest friend. Penitent one, may thy trade silence neither thy spirit nor thy frame. Okay. Penitent one. I was expecting him to like explain himself, you know, a little bit. Jeez Louise! What is this? What was that monstrosity? I was uh, waiting for him to explain himself a little bit. What that, you know. What was the source oh shit of that cowardice but I guess it's right ahead of us Oh shit Oh shit It's a freaking mini boss and it hits like a fucking truck Uh what do I have equipped considering the prayers even Oh this one I wanted to freaking check it out Okay, nice. Oh, it bounces back now. This is a weird freaking design. All right. But the thing is freaking dead. I have to also say one more thing that I have not, um, you know, due to the early game of this game providing us with very little tears of atonement, I do not have like this um, habit of looking up uh, towards the top right corner when the, where the tears are placed in order to see how many, you know, uh, of them we get when we kill uh, like a new enemy. I don't have that habit. I have to f really remember it. Those screams filled my soul with fright. Thou hast purged my fears and helped this poor pilgrim again. We have chosen different roads, but still, absolution awaits at the end of the path for thee and this sinner. Wherever it is, near or far, in this life. Or on the other side of the dream. Thank you, friend. Your words fill me with determination. You are absolutely correct. We all deserve um <laughs> penance. <laughs> Merciful be the heart. Okay, another toe. Okay, it's this uh, this time it, it's the big toe. To remain here. Go with the far. It is a little and he moves on. All right. Um, I was talking about in one of the previous episodes that it is really um, um, unlikely that he provides us with many because his quest line would be insanely um, like long. But I see that we still are provided with like, you know, small missions for him. You know, here and there we are helping him out and we are moving away, moving uh, forward his quest line. So I guess we will be getting all of the toes, I hope. We don't mess it up. Mm, a toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim, this strong high, this strong big toe, left its mark on the sacred routes. No, secret routes. Adds extra thrust while in the air. Extra thrust while in the air. Wait, what? How would that... How, how, how would that work? 
are we not able to perform like two? Um, extra thrust while in the air. I don't know how this works. I don't know what that means. In that case, I it will be staying off until we figure it out in like a more peaceful environment. Okay, we are going inside. Mother of mothers. Freaking creepy ass name. Oh, the popes are back. And the music changed. The music also changed. I was about to provide a comment about the music outside, which was creepy and screechy, like something was constantly screaming in the background. Um, but this one, I believe it's a new tune that we have yet to hear. Can I cast my ranged attack upwards, is the question. Uh, what did we do? What did I do? Oh, I, I think when I was like low on uh, the fervor bar and I tried to use the ranged attack, uh, we exchanged some of the health that we had into fervor. That did, did not answer my question though. No, you can't. You can't. Okay, some freakish cathedral. Okay, we will do away with the priests. We know how they operate already. Thrusting upwards is the most OP technique in our arsenal. Long freaking hallway, god damn. Okay, not all the three words. It's like a boss fight uh, approaching. I doubt it, to be honest, because the run back would be like absolutely terrible. There was something, you know, uh, here in the mother of mothers in an upper level, but no access to that just yet. Oh, and the preview is right behind the corner. Amazing. What? Oh, what can I say? We are making progress, I was about to say, but then I saw this dude. He's so freaking buff. <laughs> He's freaking menacing. Look at those freaking legs, bro. Look at the arms. I'm afraid of this. We'll be, be going up against him now. He's like, yeah, you are through your three tests you've passed, now a real one approaches. Come, try me. The knot of the three words. Here is where the first miracle took place. Oh shit. One devout and tormented youngster asked the high will for punishment. The knot of the three worlds. Interesting, what three worlds are we are we speaking of? Here's where the first miracle took place. I believe this is not... Uh, I believe uh, the, the, the guy, the, the scribe, is not saying that this is where that um, cutscene takes place with that one woman pounding her chest. That was like the trigger for the miracle, I understand, but maybe this is just a first, the first in instance of uh, a miracle happening. Not necessarily her triggering this whole thing, let's say. He placed a wooden log where he sat and prayed. He prayed hoping to be heard. He prayed for pain. So he could ease the guilt that sharply pierced his soul. Then, the miracle manifested itself. 
Well, I don't know whether it's wise to pray for pain and this is the very first ever miracle that gets, uh, you know, that comes to life. Maybe pray for, like, world peace. Hmm? We, we could have had that. It made roots grow and twists over his arms and legs. But not a cry nor a complaint came out from his mouth. This is, uh, this is kind of interesting. This is kind of interesting because we've just seen Gemino being turned into, into a tree. And next to Gemino, there is this like grave with like um, tree people inside. Is this in any way connected? Question mark. Every inhabitant of this land bore witness to it. And all of them prayed before the besought eternal joy of that youngster. This triune tree that sprouted years after his death was named the Knot of the Three Worlds. For three are its twisted trunks, and three were the words spoken by that youngster before he died. My great guilt. Yeah, yep, that's something straight up from Christianity on the three. Or like the significance of the the number of three. The the great guilt. Every year from its core flows a golden burning liquid, perpetuating his memory and perhaps to remind us that the first miracle has not abandoned us. Okay, this is uh, all very interesting, and I do love the lore dump, but like, why are we uh, being given this exposition? How does it come into play for the Penitent One? For Twisted are, were, and will be the paths of the miracle. No, that fits the tree imagery with, you know, twisted roots and twisted branches. The knot of the three words. Oh. Here is where the first miracle took place. He placed, uh, he prayed, it made every in this triune tree. Every okay, okay, we know that. Okay, I totally uh, miss, miss, uh misunderstood what was happening it's the knot of the three words not the knot of the three worlds <laughs> i i misread that and i was like oh what are the three worlds like the the, the heaven the hell and uh, like the purgatory or something <laughs> no it's the three words uh my great guilt i believe it was can we like interact with the goddamn tree in any way shape or form though I swung, I'm sorry, towards this holy artifact. <laughs> Getting straight up excommunicated on the spot. Okay, and he repeats this story, correct? Of the three words. He placed, he prayed, it made every inhabitant of this land, this triumph, yes. every year for twist. Okay. Moving forward, I guess, but that tree and this scene are beautiful, I have to say. Funnily enough, what's in the background, like these columns and like these... Um, yeah, all of that behind us doesn't really strike me like... It's like Catholic imagery, it looks like... Doesn't look gothic or, or or like Roman, considering the style. More like um, I don't know something from the middle Middle East, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm spewing nonsense. Why is this one broken? Okay, I guess we are moving forward. Mother of mothers, we, we back. We back, baby. What is this? Oh, it's something that can totally freaking hit us, is what it is. 
Okay, can't approach that lad ladder. Cannot approach... I yeah, cannot give the shortcut or anything. Yeah, but goddamn, the imagery in the background. The backgrounds go so freaking hard. I, I cannot reiterate enough. This is like thumbnail worthy. But so was that other tree. I have yet to decide. Alright. I think I will go down first. Let's work our way down to up. You know, from the bottom to the top. And also check out this amazing secret that we found. Nice. The fervor bar increases. Don't know why I would say no to this. Maybe if I wanted like a challenge or something, I guess I could go through the entire game without like upgrading these things. That's why the game is asking me. Can't think of another um, library of the negated words. Not worlds, words. Freaking spooky ghosts. This game opens up once again. I hear them reading. They mutter the forbidden writings. It is a constant murmuring whose echoes once inside my mind refuse to leave. I know that my curiosity will kill me if my madness does not do it first. What a poor fellow. Okay. You guys friendly? Oh shit. Oh shit. I want to check out the the wall, whether there's any secret. Okay. I don't think um, interacting with them in any way, shape or form is wise. Okay. Moving forward. I, I guess we are... I guess we are doing this. Okay, you can go left or you can go right. I don't know whether I should be progressing this particular area. Oh! Amazing, the teleporter is here. This was a wise choice then. Okay, Custodia Library of the Negated Words. All right. We have an easy way back now. Perfect. This episode is going great i have to say we've already progressed like the <laughs> it's a floating head we've already progressed like am i getting any no i'm not getting any tears Right, let's do it like this. Oh shit. <laughs> he threw a book at me. What a rude guy. Okay, what now? Do I move it to the other side? I believe so. Oh, this, this whole thing is like a puzzle. God damn it. Um... Okay, I am not understanding what I'm uh, supposed to do. I cannot get on onto that, that platform, I think. Just yet. The guy spawning the heads. Which is very bizarre. <laughs> we'll have to wait for now, because I can't get to him. Please leave me alone. Oh, I think I know what I can do. Maybe I can make a run for it. Or, yeah, attach myself to this stuff. Oh, shit. Ah, brother. There obviously is a mob who will ruin our day. God damn it. Oh, I wanted to. Yes, nice. Executed this dude. 
absolutely destroyed. Oh, there you go. Okay, so this is how you do it. Nice, nice. I really like this room. It's kind of focusing. It's kind of challenging. But you somehow got through. Cool designs on the new enemies. I like these uh, scribes or like librarians in their, you know, hoods. Throwing books, kind of ironic. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, another one. I think this totally indicates that I should not be here. Uh, in the sense that... Um, actually, it's fine. Actually, it's fine. In the sense that this pre probably operates or, like, serves, serves this entire area over here because, you know, the mother of mothers from uh, the right probably connects back to the left. And this one, um, you know, works for this particular area for the library. But I think we can uh, progress this one a little bit. Why not? Doing things out of order is something that I'm accustomed to. What the hell are you? This guy looks cool. This guy looks straight out of Bloodborne. <gasps> and it's a friendly NPC. I totally thought I will be squaring up. God damn it, let's go. The sound does not cease. What sound, friend? It creeps on these forgotten walls, and no one can determine its origin or origin. its obscure destiny. Love the way he talks. Um, is he is he talking about the same thing that Body was talking about that we met um, uh, at the entrance to the library? For the love of the high wills, silence it. For I have long yearned for it. Okay, bro. I can help you. For the love of the high wills. Okay. Is this like a boss fight? Uh, it's not. It's not a boss fight, guys. I got hyped up. It's more of the creepy ghosts. Oh, I see. Whenever you like trample the, the holy texts or something, they, they 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 act up. Whenever you act up, they act up. Oh shit, this is I guess I shouldn't be right, I shouldn't be fuck. Shit. No! Of course I I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Yeah, don't touch it and I'll be fine. Okay, okay. This is perfect. We, we, get it, uh, we got it figured out right now. Do you hurt me still? No, you don't. They just pass through me. Sacrum of the Dark Warlock. Founder of the Library of the Negated Words, this priest was known by the Sobriquet of the Dark One. Sobriquet? Like a nickname or something? No idea what a sobriquet is. He was caught practicing sorcery surrounded by pagan writings. Well, if he was known by being the Dark One... <laughs> that, <laughs> that makes sense, I have to say. Okay. Watch out for the sacred texts on the ground. Where do you go? Friendly lad ladder. Okay, you go over here. Perfect. I do know whether I can um, redirect the book back at them. Okay. It works similar to those boomerang throwing uh, bodies that we've encountered. Nice. Another child of moonlight. Let's go. I do really like those little puzzle rooms, you know, with those, like, mechanics that this game um, offers. Um, a similar thing was uh, happening in Hondo, these small, like, mini-games, let's say, with the bells, and this one also cool with the moving platforms. 
Can I touch this? I can. I can touch this. I can even destroy it and the ghosts don't get pissy. All right. Making our way, huh? There is an item up there, but... Shit. Oh, shit. Okay. There's an item right there, but uh, in order to get it, uh, we need the roots ability. Let's uh, move forward. Now, oh, and you here. We have not been using the, you know, the services of the... of this particular character. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We've been pretty good uh, about handling, you know, the fragments of guild that we leave behind. Okay, going down then. Perfect. Very interesting. So now these bitches over here basically work with the ghosts or try to make me trigger the ghosts when I get hit midair or like on the ladder I will fall to you know fall to the ground and trigger 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 the ghosts in the uh, in the area very interesting can't stop me though but another like interesting way of utilizing this, like, ghost me mechanic, right? I know your tricks, though, already. So let's split the guy. Like, we split him, we skewered him, then we... <laughs> then we sliced him. Needlessly violent penitent one, huh? You have like some freaking ra rage built up inside of you, my friend. Now what? Okay. The ghosts in the background are tending to this stack of books, so that's so funny. This one is just chilling. Ah, see, this guy cannot throw his book just straight down towards us. Where are we going this time? Yeah, I can't make that jump, I think. Okay, we are going this way first. Uh, oh, shit! God damn it, he came my way, huh? How do I get to him now? That wasn't the plan. I, I think I have to reset this whole thing because I got hit off. Oh no, it's fine. Maybe now we can go to the other side. Shh, brother! Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. I have to be better than this. I've already learned that I can redirect the book uh, throwing ability and now I'm getting hit by it every single freaking time. Amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go. We are going and we are not getting hit, goddammit. There you go. Now I was paying attention. Oh no, you... I got so spooked. I got so spooked. I, I totally thought this is like the Wax Lady. This is like a new version of the Wax Lady. The other one, it was like uh, um, this positive one. You know, this this positive one, uh, fully white one. This one is like uh, 
Dark and uses necromancy in order to cast some spells onto us. Insane. Seems kind of easier th though in comparison to the white uh, counterpart. Alright, so I just need uh, roots once again. I have to say that uh, we've been encountering more and more roots uh, in our way, so I am expecting to find uh, the item at any second now, basically. Nice. Finding every single secret, let's go. But I don't need this, I don't think I have... I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't uh, have another bile flask on me. And I'm not running that low on my health just yet. Okay. Let's check out the ranged attack. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this guy is trolling me. Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Of course. Now we might uh, need uh, those bile flasks, huh? Oh, certainly now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's you again. Oh, it's you again. I remember you. It's been a while. Yeah, that will totally look uh, fishy to me. Oh, nice. Another health up upgrade. I don't e even remember which one this is. I is it the third one or the th uh, the fourth one? God damn it. Yeah, we had we definitely had like a slow start in this uh, playthrough and now we are like finding things left and right, right? A lot of humbling at the beginning of the playthrough and now it's it's rather smooth sailing at least uh, when it comes to uh, you know at least when it comes to mm, maybe engaging with all of this uh, regular content fighting bosses is another matter i have to say These are not very scary anymore. I know how we operate, guys. Of course. Oh, what is this? Some kind of a puzzle. What about the, the other way forward? Okay, more of the same. Let's check out the puzzle. Or whatever this is. An anatomy book open. The page shows the illustration of a femur. Or fema. An anatomy book open shows the illustration of a tibia. Mm hmm. The illustration of a kneecap. Um, why and what? What what can I do with this info? Is that this room is in any way, shape or form? No. There's no icon on the on the map. So what gives? I mean I do have myself an inventory filled with like body parts <laughs> but I don't know whether that's what you want do we have these kneecaps or 
Team Viewer. Hmm. Interesting. Should I, like, click them in the correct order? They, they do differ considering the texture. I can see it. Every uh, page to the right or, or every right page of every book is different. Yeah, but I don't know what this wants from me. It doesn't seem like we can in any way, shape or form interact with this. Well, I guess I'll have to think on it. Let's leave a marker, but not an ordinary one. Huh, puzzling, literally puzzling. I can totally just totally peace out from this place. Interesting. More of the same once again. Okay, what the hell is this now? What the fuck is this? Oh shit! <laughs> A freaking upgrade is what this is. Oh, he's behind the gate. Oh, this is so troll, bro. What do I do? What do you expect me of me? Maybe I flip this switch and I get on the ladder? Or not? This will cost me my entire HP, I swear it. Oh, wait a minute. Does it operate the... Yeah, it does. It does operate the thing. Huh. Okay, this is, this is also puzzling. Troll us enemies. I'll totally need to go. Oh my god, I bugged out on the ladder. I'll totally have to go back to the preview now. Bro, this is so annoying. Oh, this is so fucking annoying. I'm leaving. Fuck you. Not interested. You pissed me off. We are going down. I, I refuse to engage with you guys. Go annoy somebody else. Something on the other side. Shit. It's uh, our Lady of the Chart visage uh, fight once again. Okay, okay. What now? What now? Can I be provided with a preview, please? Maybe I should have attacked that freaking monster spawning the little shits floating uh, around with like my uh, prayer. I'm constantly miss, uh, you know, constantly forgetting about using it. Oh, let's go. The sleeping canvases. A completely new new place. God damn it. I'm going back. I'm going back. I made up my mind. I want to figure out the room. Thankfully now we have like a Oh my goodness. I see you are as annoying as the lax lazy ladies. Maybe not that annoying. Not that much annoying. Alright. Alright, I'm back. 
I'm back, I'm sorry. I told you to... Um... Oh my god. I told you to bugger off. I didn't mean it. Can I like... I can't. I can't hold on to that. There is no ledge whatsoever. At least we are farming. These guys are giving me like... Tears of atonement. Now this guy will, will not allow me to jump onto the thing. Look at this. There's, there's always another one coming. Truly freaking annoying. Like, the game is freaking stalling. Bro, like, let me figure it out. That's so fucking annoying. Yeah, the thing I was praising earlier on in the episode, you know, these platforms and puzzles, I'm, I'm, I'm taking that shit back. They, they, they will just not allow me to, to, uh, to approach the thing. Okay, let's do it. Let's use the prayer. Oh, it doesn't work. I can't make that jump either. What am I missing? I, I cannot do anything in here. I, I cannot do anything in here, but I cannot like find like what I should be doing. Oh, maybe n now? Sw Wait, this switches the thing. Wait a minute, I might know. I might know. I have to get them both to one side, I think. Fuck you, bro. This is so fucking annoying. Okay, let's, let's just... I, I'm shaking my head. Okay, yeah, both of them are on this side. Now, bring this shit to this side. Okay, you motherfucker. I think this is your end. Your end is coming. Oh, it's coming. Or it's not coming? What am I missing this time? Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Fuck you guys. Once again, I surrender. <laughs> oh no, I have to go back. What is this? Phalanx of Aral Karim, the archivist. Aral Karim worked as an archivist in the library of the negated words. His a uh, heightened interest in the writings of Custodia and prior to the appearance of the Twisted cost him his exile. All right. Do I see like a body smashing it he its head against the wall? Bro, calm down. Is that the sound that was annoying that other dude? Possibly. The doors are deceiving me. They do not want me to go. The walls are the only ones that do not lie. Um, through the walls lie. Through the walls lies the way out of this place. Okay. Bro got locked up. God damn it. Oh. The guy spooked me. The guy spooked me. Okay, I think we are progressing his questline, whatever it may be. But like, I'm already shaking my head in disappointment because I have to go back to that room. And I really want to figure out the puzzle, but I'm also impatient and I... I'm not that good at multitasking, I, I believe. So when the heads are floating around, I'm... You know, putting 100% of my focus on dodging them, and I cannot think what I should be doing with the goddamn ladders and switches. I, Dio 
Diostado by name. Diostado. Night watchman by trade. I'm at thy mercy. This guy must have developed such a ridiculous headache. <laughs> because of the constant smashing. Even this guy couldn't have uh, figured out the, the puzzle I, I was taking on. You have my gratitude for quelling such an unbearable sound. No problem, bro. We are in the library of denied words. For the pages that lie within these dusty tomes are forbidden and forever shall be. Wow. Really antagonistic towards what is happening in here. That accompanies me here are these ponderous keys hmm. and the wandering souls that, even after death, still hunger for knowledge. Alright. The young mason's wheel. What is this? Watch your step as these halls can be deceptive. Oh, I know. Watch your. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a rosary bead. The remains of a miniature wooden cart worn by an apprentice who was separated from his master in a terrible accident. The stone and mortar that enveloped him gr drowned out his cries, preserving his pleas for help in a freakish echo that now permeates these walls with clarity. This amulet is now imbued with the poor lad's longing for release, increasing the speed of movement of whoever wears it. Hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. But like, I have so many good things on me already. I think that would be, you know, another thing that I would equip. Um, because it seems pretty, 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 pretty nasty, you know, just um, a flat increase in movement speed or like all speed, not only movement speed, but I have uh, so cool things. The, the essence of enemies is really cool. The um, dodging cooldown reduction, also more HP and, you know, just a straight up increases for defenses. I think I'll keep my things for now. Thank you very much. But when I unlock the next one, I'll be sure to put that on. I don't know whether he has any more to say or anything to provide us. And I think I will drop down to the left here. I totally left a marker right below. It was somewhere here, right? Yes. Drop of coagulated ink. Oh, and I also want to read the lore of this. Father, the walls do not move. The library does not wish its wisdom to escape these enclosures. Its corridors deceive and confine all those who enter in search of its forbidden uh, tomes and ancient secrets. Uh, its wardens, the silent monks who wander between its shelves, know this and are themselves captives of its power. Oh, so these ghosts are also prisoners in here. Here we shall remain forever with a thirst for knowledge, never to be sated. I hope one day you will read these words and not blame yourself for my death. The penned word wanted it so. It's pretty, it's pretty tragic. What is this? The, the freaking music in the background is going hard. Each hesitation of the scribe was a new stain on the, his scriptorium. Words not written, uh, censored before they were born onto the paper, were powerful too. This cluster of ink, grazed by the affliction, increases the power of prayers. As I've already mentioned in this episode, I'm really bad at using the prayers, so this probably doesn't get included in my <laughs> rosary bead collection. The scribe had raised his gaze, for he had ceased to write a while ago. <laughs> Very short one. Okay, let's go back to the freaking room and let me think how it should be handled. Wow. 
what I should be doing is eluding me. Is the guy still standing to the left? No, he disappeared. Um... I cannot make that jump. That's another thing. Oh wait, this just opens up now? Oh my god. Oh my god, and I drop down! And this entire thing fucked up. Arr, arr. Bro. So annoying. Let's hope I have enough health to do this. No, no, please leave. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come here. Okay, now I have to get to the other side once again. How I fucked it up is beyond me. So royally fucked it up. Come here, bitches. Ugly ass faces. Okay. No, no, please don't. Just leave me be. Leave me be. Yes. It's done. It's finally done. God damn it. Let's go. We are rewarded for our troubles. I swear I've been stuck in this goddamn room for the entire episode. That's a vast exaggeration, but this is what it feels like. You know? Lorquiana? A prayer that calls forth a barrage of fiery lightning from the very essence of the miracle, producing any foe that dares to stand before mea culpa. Okay, you are going on. We are stones of this earth, we are sprouts of these roots, we are in procession united, those who fervently cry out to you, O oh, grievous miracle, get us out of these flames. For now I'm trying every single one, you know, and then I will decide which one I want. I really vibed with this one, Zarabanda of the Safe Haven, because it, it provides you with both offensive and defensive qualities. And I have yet to be able to cast this one, this requires a ridiculous amount of fervor. Okay, I see the Library of the Negated Words is pretty much done. Um, let's kind of... I want to check out what we can buy with the amount of points that we have. Uh, and how about this room once again? Hmm. There's no change whatsoever. Maybe I need to kill, like, the boss of the area or, like, I need to find these like items and it they will show up in the quest um you know over here no not over here in the quest items uh, tab but for now we don't have any of this stuff hmm. i want to make my way back in order to turn in certain things in our barrow i think this is how we will end uh, the episode It's, it's, a, it's a reasonable uh, ending to the episode, that would be uh, nice. I think I will be dying first. Yo, these fuckers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my goodness, get me out of this place. <laughs> Burning through all of the flasks that I have. Yeah, these guys are not as hard if you can get to a reasonable spot. But uh, rarely are you provided with a reasonable spot. Okay. Wow. Wow, these fuckers.
Oh, this walk back will not be easy, guys. Actually, uh, no. Oh, it's uh, actually it's it's not that bad. I think we are just it's just around the corner, huh? Yes, please. I'm kind of running out of out of health. Let's uh, check out the prayer also. Oh shit. What the hell happened also? First of all, wow, the prayer uh, w was was pr pretty amazing, but second of all, can there be like secrets on the ground in this game? What? <laughs> what? Was that like an th that was a total accident, but like I, I guess now I have to go through every freaking room in this game and check out every single floor. I had no idea this is like a, a mechanic. I mean, no, wait a minute. They've just said that this place is tricky and that there are, you know, walls everywhere that can be interacted with. Basically, I'm paraphrasing right now. So maybe this is just specific to this location. Let's see what we find, because I'm I think it, it may have to do something with those books. No, it's just an empty bile vessel. Okay. I, I totally thought that we will find an item that, you know, allows us to, to interact with this room, and then I'll have to find, like, two more rooms such as this, but I guess that's not what it is. I mean, I'm not, not gonna complain about an empty bile flask, but not what I was expecting, has to be said. Let's also hope we can make it back safely. God damn it, as, as, as I say that, I, I get hit. Yeah, like this. Good gameplay. Good gameplay only, what can I say? Now or never type of a situation. Yeah, we've been up there. We've been up there. What's in this room? Oh no, the floating heads are back. Let's get the hell out of... Oh no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. <sighs> All right. It is what it is, guys. I believe I will make a cut uh, right now, and the next time you will see me, I'll be in Albero, turning in all of those awesome quests. See you in a minute. <laughs> okay, let's go. We back. We back. At least I got the, uh, you know, I got to farm a little bit of soul, uh, not souls. I got to farm a little bit of my, um, you know of tears on my way back. What should we basically buy? Can't buy this. I, I, I'm thinking about buying that item of Candelaria in the Graveyard of Peaks. Um, yes, that is worth uh, 5k. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I also want to turn all of this in. It's been a while since we spoke with this dude. Okay, we have 7.5k. How much do you give me? Okay, not a lot. Look, 700. See how the ash rises up beneath our feet. From the other side of the door, the bones long for the voice to awaken and sing to us once more. Yeah, his his dialogue is becoming ominous. I'm totally suspecting a boss on the other side of that door. Oh, her sweet voice. Her voice, huh? Bring the rest of the bones. Yeah, can't do anything with this just yet. All right, now what? I believe we'll be... Right now I have five bile flasks that are like plus one. I believe I want to get them to plus two as I have additional bile flask in my storage. It's 3k though. 
<laughs> All right, this is actually perfect. 3k for the bio flasks, and then 5k to towards the item that Candelaria has. Improve them. Graceful be the heart. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, With my this friend. Silver, I bless the mixture that will recover your spilled blood. No problem, no problem. Thank you. I can only assume he can upgrade them more. Yes, now for 7k. Bring me the quick. Okay, I get it. Um, the only bad thing is, the only unfortunate thing is, there is no like uh, fountain of mourning, I believe, anywhere close. I guess it is what it is. Let's get the item and see what it does. I'm very curious. I've been hyping up for for a long time now. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Maybe also this is the last uh, item that the kissers will require of us, so that would be awesome to finish up their quest line. It's been a long one, so I expect big rewards. Cannot deny that. Yes, absolutely, give it to them. Merciful be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Amazing. We got like uh, 2k back or something like this. Time outside these but if your pen But it's still not over. It's still not over, guys. Somehow. These guys are very greedy, is the problem. Okay, and the last thing is. The last thing is the item. The item, let's go. What amazing thing might it do? Oh, I've already freaking bought it. What am I saying? What am I saying? Of course, I've already, I already have it. It is right there on me, on my rosary. What the hell am I talking about? It was this, the Ember of the Holy Cremation, a good item indeed, but I already have it. Well, if that's the case, I will have to leave the episode on this, uh, you know, sad ending over here in which I make a clown of myself. <laughs> yeah, um, I, 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 no, maybe not a complete clown, but I, this is still not the best ending to the episode. Well, anyway, I think we've made some great progress in this episode. We, um, where were we? Where were we? It was somewhere to the right over here. Yes, over here. Um, we, we, we managed to get through the patio of the silent steps. So we, and then I believe we've almost, we are almost finished with the library of the negated words. And the only thing that is left is this room that is kind of puzzling. Mm, what we will be doing in the uh, next episode, I believe we will uh, check out the mother of mothers. Um, uh, yeah, it was our very first instinct, uh, instinctive choice to go down and to the left and to the right, but there is definitely much more here, and I think I will want to get uh, done with this particular area before I move down here. This uh, looks like uh, mm, the sleeping canvases look like a more sophisticated uh, type of a thing that should be tackled on later on because maybe just maybe an amazing boss is waiting for us right here and i've totally missed it in this very episode well anyway anyway uh, thanks for watching like comment and subscribe but do it only if you feel like it it is always greatly appreciated though um when you guys do because it pay helps the channel a great deal and also um while mentioning the channel check it out there may be some blind playthroughs similar to this one in there that may pique your interest for the very last time thank you very much for watching and bye 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 stay safe and take care